So 2022 has been an amazing year for Character Animator, and it's been so inspiring to see all the incredible projects our community of animators have made. In this holiday special end of the year community spotlight episode, we're going to take a closer look at some of the best character animator projects from 2022 that caught our team's attention. We featured the hand sketch style of Pat Moriarty and Seth Zeichner in past community spotlights, and they're back at it with a music video for the 40th anniversary of the song Shut Up by the legendary band The Replacements. Using the cycle layers behavior to mix frame-by-frame -frame animation with performance capture to achieve a kinetic line quality, the end result is a dynamic tribute that perfectly captures the energy of the song. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert is back at it with their holiday special parody, A Conspiracy Carol. It's an impressive nine-minute cartoon about Santa dealing with conspiracy theorists who have invaded the North Pole. As always, the characters are well-voiced and beautifully animated, and I particularly love the lighting and background art in several of these scenes. Awesome work. I didn't know I needed a wrapping SpongeBob SquarePants in my life, but turns out I did. And apparently, so did the other 590,000 subscribers to Your Boy Sponge's YouTube channel. It's a simple concept on the surface. Have SpongeBob and his friends' goofy voices rap over a variety of beats. It's hilarious, and has been also making the rounds on TikTok, Instagram, and even SoundCloud. The Red Dot is a popular webcomic by Kim Winder, and she's taken her usually static characters and brought them to life with the help of Character Animator. It's a great technique for social media, giving characters voices and added motions, while still maintaining the same style and personality of her original comic. Well done. Joe's Red Guitar only has a few cartoons up on his YouTube channel so far, but they're really well made and show a lot of promise. I learned about Joe's work from the Character Animator subreddit, where he posted a cartoon he did of a local librarian's short story. All his videos have a distinct hand sketch style, and the arms and facial animations always keep things visually interesting. I hope we see a lot more from Joe in the future. We featured the work of Netherlands-based teacher Matthijs Klossner before, and he's back at it again with another worldwide Character Animator student contest. Every year, students submit short animations around a theme and include behind-the-scenes pages made on Adobe Express about their creative process. I've been a judge for this for the past few years, and I'm always blown away by the talent I see. Jay Alston is a ridiculously talented artist who made an animated puppet version of himself on TikTok. His character has amazing facial expressions and arm motions, and has even been seen in some TikTok duets. It's a really well-made character that works perfectly for his content. This is a cool little piece I saw in the Character Animator subreddit. It's a music video for the weekend song Out of Time, using physical wooden figurines with animated faces on them to create a unique stop-motion look for the band. I love it when people mix reality and animation, and this is no exception. Kooky Craftables is a fantastic paper craft channel by author David Landis, teaching how to make all sorts of characters from printing templates and folding paper. Recently, David has experimented with adding an animated sidekick who adds commentary along the way, usually in the form of comic relief. The production value on these videos is great, and the animated characters add a fun quality to the whole workflow. For Real is a reggae rock song by Starboy featuring Lee Scratch Perry, and an artist named Peter Hutter from the studio DK Motion made this great music video for them. I love all the colorful characters we see throughout, as well as mixing in different background textures and typography to build a world that reflects the upbeat music. Dylan is a new addition from the Character Animator Puppet Creator's Animation Guides, and he's a great figure. He has an amazing range of facial expressions, as well as some really nice face parallax to get smooth head turn emotions. His cycle layer's mouth shapes are really fluid too. And the promotional video they put together for Dylan is very nicely done as well, walking through all of his features in an entertaining way. Tim Schindel is a German-based filmmaker and animator with over 20 years of experience, and he started to post some excellent character animator tutorials on his YouTube channel. He has an animated version of himself as a narrator talking throughout the pieces, and explains things at a nice pace with a conversational tone, making it easy to follow and get inspired by. If you're looking to up your puppet game, I'd recommend watching several of these videos. Rasco McGillicuddy is a hilarious YouTube channel boasting 826,000 subscribers and has all sorts of ridiculous content, including a lot of character animator cartoons like his Chicken Beast series. I love how much he embraces the weirdness from deforming heads to a walking matchstick. It's a crazy and random mix of ideas that's well worth a watch. I liked the premise behind this music video for Eject Pilot Eject's song, Outside of Me. It features a singing character walking through all sorts of animated landscapes, from the pyramids of Egypt to the ocean floor. 
The backgrounds are varied and have all sorts of things popping in and out of them, including glimpses of the other band members. Riceburger Studios specializes in fun, bite-sized Japanese language lessons. By using animated characters talking through various funny scenarios, the lessons are charming and engaging with plenty of humor mixed in, leading to sizable followings on social media, with over 100,000 followers on both Instagram and TikTok. If you've ever wanted to learn Japanese, I highly recommend following their channels. UK-based freelance artist Peter Simcoe has been experimenting with Character Animator and Arrow, Adobe's augmented reality tool. One of Character Animator's export options is a PNG sequence, which just so happens to be an import option for Arrow. It's a great proof of concept, and I'm excited to see more experiments like this in the future. German artist Lena Fleer has built out a wonderfully creative channel using a stylized animated version of herself as a narrator, chronicling her various creative projects or retelling entertaining stories. The character has a whimsical Legend of Zelda Wind Waker vibe and mixes well into her videos. At 150,000 subscribers, she's clearly found a nice formula that works well for her audience. That Got Weird, Stories of Everyday Racism is a 10-episode series of animated shorts that bring to life real stories of racism from Minnesota residents. The participants are all anonymous, and each contributor got to have a say in how their animated persona looked. Character designer and illustrator Mike Dazzle does a remarkable job capturing these people and their stories. And I love how the characters are placed over real-life Minnesota locations, blending animation and reality together. It's a well-produced and impactful series that ran on local public broadcasting stations and was even nominated for a Midwest Emmy. Hank Visser is a Dutch artist who I've had the pleasure of meeting in person at a few Adobe International conferences, and I really love the imagination behind this motion graphics tutorial. Basically, Hank is not using Character Animator the way it's supposed to be used, and instead playing around with the behaviors and live inputs to build complex, unique patterns and textures for motion graphics work. It's something that doesn't feel like it should work, but somehow it does. Grand Trivia is a weekly game show livestream from the Twisted Minds at Radio Free Multiverse. It's hosted in part by a floating red fish named Fluval, who often changes costumes while covering topics ranging from Marvel movies to Pokemon. It's a zany mix of trivia and animation that somehow all comes together and works. Debbie Bradshaw is a comedian, and her husband Sean helped her animate a short film called The Barking Lot, which follows the antics of an offbeat pet store employee. I love how Sean mixes the live performance capture with frame-by-frame -frame animation to develop a unique style. The short even got selected for several film festivals, ranging from Portland to Germany, so congrats to the Bradshaws for their success. Skunk and Monk is a kids' web series focused on two cartoon friends making a video podcast. Their adventures cross paths with a number of colorful characters who are all well-designed and add some variety throughout the various episodes. With frequent musical numbers and a solid voice cast, it's a great overall package. New Jersey-based character animator freelance artist Morris Megamedia has been churning out some incredible-looking puppets this year, each with their own unique look and feel. Every character feels like it can stand on its own, complete with custom lip sync mouths and versatile trigger systems. It's an impressive portfolio of work that's worth giving a look to. And staying in New Jersey, the New Jersey Lottery recently used Character Animator for some of their commercials, having a cashier and customer interact with one of their current games. It's a short but effective marketing tool. Drawing Creep Productions has been making a series of cartoons following the world of its main character, a guy named Billy Dill Pickles, who seemingly has his roots as a persona they would play as in Grand Theft Auto Online. Over time, they've been able to build up an impressive cast of characters, along with detailed background art and props to help bring their stories to life. Brian Diskin is a talented illustrator with a career spanning over 20 years, who recently started getting interested in animation through Character Animator. His characters cover a wide variety of styles, and his illustration experience shines through his character's lip sync and expressions. India-based Awakening TV produced this beautiful nine-minute animated piece called Story of a Golden Age, with a story backed by an original spiritual song meant to evoke peace and happiness. Awakening TV has been using Character Animator in many of their segments recently, and I've been really impressed with how quickly they've been able to create dozens of rich characters and environments for their stories. Atlanta-based artist Oliver Sarkis has made 26 episodes of an intriguing animated series called Spare Parts. He creates the characters out of, you guessed it, spare parts, and then photographs them and adds animated elements to them in Photoshop before bringing them into Character Animator. 
The end result is a quirky mix of styles that complements the offbeat storylines. J and Mighty D is an all-ages YouTube series following artist Jay Morales and his animated friend Mighty D talking about drawing, creativity, and other artistic concepts. The setup of a real person talking with a cartoon co-host works well, making their topics much more approachable than just another video of a person talking into a webcam. It's a fun format that seems to work really well. Song Collab Studio is a creative group that visits Canadian schools to teach various multimedia workshops, some of which include integrating Character Animator to create everything from music videos to stand-up comedy routines. It's one of the better classroom integrations I've seen of Character Animator, using puppets to bring a ton of diverse songs and stories to life. LumaBox is a company devoted to the art of projection mapping onto various physical surfaces, and I was blown away by this Hocus Pocus Halloween piece they did. Seeing the two-story tall Sanderson sisters singing is an incredible feat, with plenty of effects, transitions, and character cameos to keep things interesting. If you've ever wanted to be the coolest house on the block during the holidays, definitely check their examples and tutorials out. Randy Schmidt is an independent filmmaker based in Tokyo, who has been spreading the word about Character Animator in several different areas. This November, he ran a stop-motion and animation workshop for kids at the Rising Sun International Film Festival, teaching local children how to use Character Animator for their own stories. And his short film Zoom Dating with Evil Lynn follows the classic Masters of the Universe villainess through various video dates, using Character Animator both for her potential dates as well as lip-sync mouths that get tracked over the underlying stop-motion footage. With high production quality and a great sense of humor, Randy's projects are not to be missed. A blue avatar named Patchman serves as a narrator through Spirit Science, a channel taking a deeper look at how the spiritual and scientific worlds can harmonize. The channel has been around since 2011, so in the earlier videos, Patchman was just a static character, sometimes swapping between other static poses or expressions, but now he feels much more friendly and alive. The channel now has over 1 million subscribers and is showing no signs of stopping. Bill Kopp has been an animator for over 35 years, dating back to some of the original Simpsons cartoons for The Tracy Ullman Show. He recently picked up Character Animator, learning how to use it by watching OK Samurai tutorials, so thanks for watching, glad they helped, and has been using it to create his newest series, The Dumb Bunny and Jackass Show. At the time of this recording, he's only got a promo trailer out for it, but from the preview of Wacky Characters, you can tell this is going to be something special. Taiyaki Studios is a talent agency for virtual influencers who recently partnered with our friends at Digital Puppets in the UK to create a free set of character animator puppets called Vambies, who are currently on our official puppets pages. And they've also been doing a competition for anyone who uses these puppets to win one of a few one-year Creative Cloud subscriptions. Even better, Digital Puppets has put together a two-hour-long super detailed tutorial video teaching you how they use character animator which is definitely worth checking out if you want to see one of our most experienced users talk through their standard process. Bucky Johnson from Action 8 News is a TikToker who amassed over 40,000 followers over the past year. Bucky, the brainchild of creative duo James and Garrett, gives his humorous commentary on various headlines. The animations are short and snappy, and this may be a taste of things to come for Bucky. They've even got a pitch deck out there for an 11 episode cartoon show. In real life, DJ The Goal is an actual DJ who dresses up like a seagull. But on TikTok and elsewhere online, he's an animated character telling jokes and hosting live streams. I love the commitment to the persona, and the social media shorts are a smart way to get word out about the brand. Lauren Slayer follows the creative endeavors of animator slash artist slash game developer Lauren Lehman. It's an entertaining and inventive sandbox of various ideas, including cutaways to a huge roster of rotating character animator characters. I also love all of Lauren's beautiful background art. She currently streams on Tuesday or Thursday evenings, so definitely tune in sometime if you're looking to be inspired. Big Herc is a talented multimedia artist who recently animated a music video for the legendary artist Schooly D, complete with verses from Ice-T, Chuck D, and many more. The seven minute video is packed with a ton of characters and cameos and has an energetic feeling that matches the emotions of the track. And finally, PB and the Buck is a promising new series from an artist in Trinidad and Tobago. What immediately made this one stand out to me is the visual style. There's a live wiggle effect to the whole thing, mixed with interesting shading and lighting techniques, which gives the characters a distinct look. 
Lots of additional compositing effects and vivid coloring treatments help these guys to stand out from the crowd. So, on behalf of the team here at Adobe, thank you to everyone who has been using Character Animator this year. It's always so inspiring to see all the amazing stuff you create. And we'd love to see what you make in 2023, so please use hashtag Character Animator on social media so we can check out what you're up to. Happy holidays to everyone, and we'll see you next year.